What is BDC? BDC stands for Batch Data Communication and it is also referred as Batch Input Recording Method. BDCs are used for the mass processing of data, mostly in the initial data migration. Along with that, it is also used on periodic basis or to optimize the business process. The steps of creating the BDC are as follows. In the first step, we have to record the transaction code. One should know the complete functionality of a particular transaction for which we are going to create the BDC program. When we do the recording with the SHDP transaction code, system capture all the details of that particular transaction like the program name, the screen names which are called, the cursor position, different field and what data we entered on that field at that recording time. After doing the recording, we have to create the ADAPT program by transferring the recorded recording to the ADAPT program. And then in the SE38, we can do the modification in the ADAPT program so that system can accept the input file, either the text or Excel file, as per our requirement. We can add a different validation in the SE38 based on our requirement. We can put some default values based on conditions, etc. And from the input columns, input file, we have to map the fields to the BDC recorded fields. After doing these first four steps, in BDC, we have two methods that we have to add in the program as well, which method we are going to use. The first method is known as call transition. In this method, when we uploaded the data file, text file or Excel file, system process all the records at the same time, immediately when we execute that transition code. But in the second method, that is session method, in this method, when we upload the file, system only generate a session which we can process later with the T code SM35. For example, if you want to perform some activity on the first of next month. But for that, you want to make your data handy, you want to make your data ready. And on the first of next month, you want to only execute a transition code. In that case, we can make our external text file, we can upload in the BDC session method and generate a session. And on the particular day, we have to go to SM35 and execute that session. The design flow of BDC, like first we have to record with the SHDB transition code. Once we record the transition, system will capture the program name, the screen name, system will capture the cursor position on each and every screen. The fields along with the value which we entered on that particular screen. The OK code means if there are multiple screen on a transition code, so after entering the data on the first screen, what we have done, whether we press enter, whether we click on some button, all details are captured by the systems. Then after recording, we have to transfer this recording into a web program, which you can see here. And then after going to SE38, we can do the film mapping, the validation, all the code logic we can do in the SE38. The execution flow for BDC, as shown with this diagram. First, we have to read the Excel text file and after reading this, we'll get all data into an internal table. With internal table data, we can make a loop and we can fill the BDC data table. And based on our method, which are following with the call transition or session method, the respective, if it is call transition, system will process all the record at the same time with a session method, with the help of BDC data, system will create a session that we can see in SM35. And whenever you want to process, you have to go to SM35 and process that session. As this is theoretical uh, session, so once we are doing practical, we'll know some more details on this. What are the advantages of BDC? The BDC are very easy to uh, use as it uses the recording method. So one should know the SHDB T code, how to record transition code. 
it is easy to record any time the share it is standard as well as custom. For BDC, a low programming language is sufficient. The developer should know the recording concept and a small coding part. We can add any kind of validation in the BDC. BDC can be run in foreground, background, or in the error mode. At the same time, what are disadvantages? BDCs are very slow processing as it call each screen every time and it is not possible for enjoy transitions where we require to move to multiple tabs, record data on a table control, etc. Next is BAPI. BAPI known as Business Application Programming Interface. BAPIs are Standard Remote Enable Function Model developed by SAP. It also enable external application. Take example, along with SAP, company are using some external software which has a middleware. So that middleware can directly call this BAPI and they can access or process the SAP data. You can use BAPI for data migration, mass processing on periodic basis and to optimize the business process. The design flow in the BAPI as below. First, we have to search the required BAPI using T code BAPI, that is BAPI. Like for every transaction code, example, purchase order, sales order, there are different BAPIs available. So we have to search for the respective BAPI with this T code. After that, we have to create the program with SE38 so that we will upload the file and we can do the field mapping with the BAPI and process that program. The execution part is as follows, upload the file, perform all the validations, call the BAPI and update the record. Advantages of BAPI. BAPI are very fast in processing. It can be used for enjoy transition and other transition which have a lot of table controls. BAPIs are like function model so it is easy to debug. Disadvantage, BAPIs are not available for all the transition code and for BAPI we require some good programming knowledge. So this is all about the BAPI and the BDC. For next session we will do actual practical. Thank you.